Okay guys, uh, what's going on? Uh, this is DieHard17 from 7th Colin Gaming, and right now this is the WarZ's webpage and whatnot. And for those who do not know what web, or like, what this is, it's kind of like DayZ, like, you know that mod for Armor 2 and whatnot, that I've done some research on and whatnot, blah blah blah. And pretty much what this game is, it's pretty much just like a standalone game. It runs off of the, I believe the uh, War Inc. engine, and it's pretty much like, it's uh, pretty much like a zombie MMO kind of thing. It's kind of like DayZ, but there's a bunch, and it's like a open world. Uh, it says like there's at least like f like at least like a 400 kilometers of land that you can travel. And my dog tags are making a bunch of noise and whatnot. But pretty much like there's a bunch of stuff in it. Like, and that picture is not loading for some reason. So let's go back. There's like a bunch of guns. Like not really a bunch, but like it's. It's relatively similar to DayZ in a way. Like, there's a bunch of zombies, there's towns, there's guns that you need to find and try and survive and not get killed by them. And right now, like, this game is in the alpha stage, and the people that are actually making this game say, like, that it's like they've been in two years in development, and I've been seeing, like, multiple reviews, and there's somebody pulling into the freaking thing while I'm in the middle of recording. Gah! It's snowing outside, too. Okay guys, sorry about that, uh, someone came on by and was waiting for my, or was pretty much just like uh, going to play with my stepbrother and these things will not shut up. Ah! But yeah, they say that this game is like in two years in development and I've been seeing like a lot of reviews saying like, oh this game is so shoddy and, it, and there's no way in heck it's been in development for two years and I've seen some like uh, some video of this game, there has been footage of released of it. Um, I believe at PAX, and and I gotta say, it honestly looks a lot better than DayZ graphics-wise, and also on how the entirety of the game is. But then again, it's in the alpha stage, and like there are some problems in there. Like I've like uh, for those who don't know who Frankie in 1080p is, or Frankie on PC and 1080p or whatever yeah his channel um, pretty much like he's saying like that you run up that you like your thirst runs down incredibly quick and you just need to like look for water over like a lot of times I don't even know where I'm going with this but anyway I was just wondering on um, what you guys saw on the game uh, and here's some more uh, screen pictures or screenshots of the game and overall the game looks really nice looking like on how they are graphics wise it has like a some sort of like minecraft or like a building portion kind of like to the game kind of like an almost like in daisy where you can like put up like a razor wire to keep zombies out or something like that but in this you can like put down uh like a bunch of different thumb stuff like you can make like forts or whatever kind of like in this previous fixture, like this right here, you could probably like construct like something like that looks like this and just like pick off zombies and just like try and like survive. Here's more screenshots. I'm not sure what this is about. Like, I'm guessing this is how you heal yourself or prevent from getting infected. And more screenshots, more pictures. And that's, and this is probably the, like the picture that we've seen before where. It was uh, there in that little bunker, but it was like from their point of view, I'm guessing, because that's what it kind of looks like. So let's go back over to that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's definitely it. Like, you can see like guns on the ground here, ammo, what looks like food. I don't even know what half this stuff is, but a shit ton of casings and a light machine gun. But overall, this game is actually for sale right now. Like you can like buy the game in, the, in its current stage, which is the alpha stage. But I would wait until like the beta comes out, and then be, like you can like get like a fifteen dollar package, which is like where you get three guest keys for twenty four hours with no in game currency. You could buy, and then there's a twenty five dollars, which is pretty much the same with the guest keys, but they give you fifteen and then fifty for the fifty dollar package. But all in all, it. Honestly, it looks really good, but from what I've been hearing, uh, it it doesn't really seem kind of like all that much. Like, 
In day C, I'm not sure exactly how big the world is on there, but yeah. But this is like a 400 kilometer freaking. Uh, this is why I should rehearse before I do my recordings. But anyway, what do you guys think? Let me th let me know what you think on the comments section below. Whether it's like worth buying like now, or if it's like worth getting when it's in the beta stage and there's like this one guy named Rhino Crunch I don't know if you guys know who he is or not but but he's like ranting on this game saying oh this game's gonna be ter gonna be terrible it's running on this engine and it's just like so stupid and he's just like saying all bad things about this game and he's and it's like and it's like he literally says it's not because I'm a fan of like a fanboy DayZ, which I'm not of. And if you look on his channel, there's like at least so many videos of him playing DayZ in a whole bunch of different series. So don't tell me shit saying that you're not freaking a fanboy of DayZ. Besides, like this game actually lo looks like it has a lot of potential. Like it, it just looks like good and can be something that's like really amazing. And that's all I have to say. And let me comment on what you guys think. I'm pretty sure I said that like at least like three times or so. Uh, so yeah, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and do whatever, and just have fun. See you guys. Bye.